Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video I want to just talk about basically some just general housekeeping for you to do before the onset of the next expansion. It's very simple tips but things that will generally help you in being prepared from a housekeeping perspective before you start your next expansion. So uh, let's go with it. So firstly let's talk about bags. Your bags are a mess. You know this, I know this. Go through your bags. You probably have a whole bunch of dream seeds that you never used because you didn't play in that area for the last 18 months. Uh, you need to destroy them, get rid of them, sort your bag. You've got loot that you probably didn't use or won't use or haven't used that you can sell for gear. And just in general, you want to probably clean up a lot of what you've got going on here. The thing is, is a lot of the times people will just store stuff that they never plan on using again. Um, so for example, I still have Shadow Moon Wastes uh, and you want to realistically get rid of some of this stuff because there's no point keeping it. You know, it's just weighing up your bags. You can get money back for it. It's generally speaking just a good way to go about things. So I would 100% uh, obviously look 712 gold obviously look at first cleaning up my bags and just generally making your life a lot easier overall. Along with bags comes banks. Now let's talk about banks because there's lots of stuff in banks. So firstly, for example, you may still be hoarding gear that from the last pre-patch expansion that you thought would really, really help your characters. Maybe you need to get rid of that. You probably still have legendaries that you're keeping, which is fine. You're allowed to keep and collect whatever you want. But generally speaking, try to clean up what you've got. A lot of the times, a lot of it's not useful. You thought you would keep it, it would be super helpful. But with the way gearing rescales, things just change up. Generally speaking, it's good to always go back through and get rid of what you can. It's generally not going to help you out, especially when it comes to regents, uh, like you know stuff you're not going to use ever again because you've either finished it or you know you've got other characters. Uh, you want to obviously change up and then also remember as well that now with the wall band banks you may want to look at what you want to move into an account wide system so for example uh, move all your pet charms into the wall band bank make sure that you move all of your shareable assets into the wall band bank because the thing is is like these are great when you stack them up currencies or special items that you stack up generally speaking will net you a uh, big payout uh, across the board because you can then obviously access it on a character so definitely something to look at and make sure that you have done uh, by clearing out your region bank as well what you do essentially is you give yourself uh, a clean slate for the next expansion where you are going to have uh, a ton of resources you're going to want to use but also as well um, I think what you'll also find is by freeing it up, you also find assets that you probably want to sell. And let's talk about that now. So let's talk about selling stuff. So obviously, you know, auctioning stuff and selling stuff is a very important part of the game. Uh, and I think a lot of the times players find that uh, most materials drop in value once a new expansion comes. They probably already have. Uh, so you want to sell what you can. There are certain materials that you will use, especially for things like mounts. Uh, that will retain their value but nine times out of ten uh, you want to sell what's in your region bank if you're not now going to go back and perfect crafting recipes or anything to obtain maybe mounts or toys realistically keeping the materials to craft gear for a character that's going to be spending a very brief moments inside of this expansion going forward is not necessary so look at rather selling what you can making sure that you can get rid of everything. Even if it's just a couple gold, it's fine. If it doesn't sell in the auction house, go and sell it from your vendor and just get money back, get cash back, convert all those resources and assets that you have into cash, gold, because you're going to need it for the next expansion, especially if you're into crafting. So now that we have clean bags, clean vaults, and hopefully, if you are lucky and you cleaned everything out, a little bit more cash for you to play with, uh, your next goal is obviously to clear out your quest log. So essentially what you want to do next is you just want to open up that bad boy and get rid of everything. 
basically honestly get rid of pretty much everything a lot of the stuff you just don't need a lot of the stuff you're just really not going to ever do and especially if you've probably done it on other characters clearing out the quest log is something that you realistically should just have done um there's not much to it having a full out quest log doesn't help you you're not coming back to this region more than likely with this character your main specifically uh, if you are worried about that and you're worried about obviously coming back and keeping track of where you're going then i suggest using another character to play the new expansion because if you go in there with a full quest log half the time you're going to have such a huge problem uh, in taking quests and just following everything and keeping on track of everything so what you want to do is you just want to get rid of absolutely everything you can um, and then obviously for the most part clear out the quest log obviously you can take a better look at them than I am uh, and try and keep what you actually do want on the character but generally speaking clear that bad boy out and leave yourself with a nice succinct neat list to do um, and focus on so let's talk talents obviously these are still subject to change as you go along because there are still hot fixes and things but generally speaking it's a good time as any to relook at your talents especially if you've taken a break from doing hardcore content you want to relook at everything uh, and kind of rebuild out to give yourself a, a nice fresh clean slate and to obviously fix out your progress bar uh, and just generally also whilst looking at talents clean up your action bars so select all your new talents that you want to make sure that you're choosing what you want make sure that you're getting the abilities that you want and that you're focusing on them that you're giving yourself you know the kind of build that you want in your character going into the next expansion remember your majority of your skills want to prioritize dungeons uh, and obviously questing as that's going to be the main source of what you're doing for the beginning of the next expansion so don't look at more raiding builds look at more dungeon builds etc but yeah generally speaking fill out your your talent bars apply all your changes and then obviously clean up those action bars you'll find that you're going to have so many different uh, skills and abilities that no longer work or no longer do anything maybe they're items that you're no longer using maybe they're you know toys you don't have generally speaking you just want to make sure that your action bars are nice and clean neat and tidy so let's talk about gear obviously depending on how much you play your character gear you know can be a little bit all over the place uh, there's lots of ways to equalize it uh, especially across your characters but it's going to depend a lot on how to obtain gear now i don't want to specifically talk about obtaining gear obviously the radiant echoes event is a great way to obtain it if you manage to grab yourself quite a fair chunk of residual memories you can use these to buy sets of gear now this can help you to really fill out your character and generally speaking just give yourself a really really good start going into the next expansion uh, the gear can go all the way up to 502 and this should take you to level 75 so making sure that you fill out your character slots and generally just gear your character up well getting them to that kind of like 500 mark when it comes to gear is generally speaking a very good place to be and you know this is all warband like warband gear so you don't have to panic and for example uh like buy for your class uh you can buy for essentially everyone that you want to so you can buy for leather characters cloth characters so let's say for example you're happy with your character's item level maybe you want to plan for another character you can do that for them and just in general make sure that whatever character you are going into the next expansion with is well and truly fully geared up and then last but not least transfer your character especially if you've got gear that's going to last you well into the expansion you don't want to be going into the expansion looking like an absolute scrub so make sure that you transfer your character whether that's setting up a cool set that you want your character to wear specifically or whether you want to custom design and make your own set that you feel could look very very cool uh, it's always for me a really good kind of place to generally speaking go and create uh, like a like a cool gear set uh, you're going to be spending a lot of time playing these expansions so transforming your character and making them look cool for you is going to be very important 
and on that note as well, uh, since you're going into the new expansion, maybe it's time to go and grab yourself a haircut. There's new hairstyles and things that have always been added in all the time, especially for certain races. So go in, go and check your character out, and maybe even consider changing their gender. You can now do that with the characters, so you can select and change gender if you wish to do so. And generally speaking, just look at maybe changing up your appearance to kind of uh, pull everything together. Also, obviously update all of your add-ons. There are plenty of add-ons and updates that have occurred during the course of the lead up to the war within. Make sure you are updating all of your add-ons as much as you can to make sure that they remain up to date. Some of them will still continue to fall out of date, but generally speaking, this is just good housekeeping to update what you need and take a look at maybe dropping some, picking up something new, and generally just keeping things moving on at a really good pace. And that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and bye.